It's the press versus the president. Is a question an attack? Fake news. Fake news. Donald Trump's presidency can be defined by lies. Donald Trump's critics say they're correcting falsehoods he's made. But you said today that you had the biggest electoral margin since Ronald Reagan with 304 or 306. In fact, President Obama got 365 in 2008. Well, I'm talking about Republican. The, pre the yeah. pres President uh, Obama, 332, yeah. and George H.W. Bush, 426. So why should Americans trust well, you no, I was when you're I was misrepresenting given information? information? Trump believes the media is out to topple his presidency. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House, but I'm president and they're not. The media feuds have been endless. Critics have focused on investigations into whether Trump campaign officials colluded with Russia to win the 2016 elections. But Trump says in the absence of real evidence, the media is just speculating. Fake news and the Russian witch hunt. We got a whole big combination. Where is the collusion? Then there's Michael Cohen, the president's personal lawyer who's publicly admitted he paid a woman claiming she'd had an affair with Trump to keep quiet. But Trump shook off the accusations. Despite the feuds, the media are making hay. Most major US networks and newspapers have enjoyed record ratings and subscriptions possibly thanks to political divisions Trump has fueled. But CNN's White House correspondent Jim Acosta has come under fire for his rise to fame as Trump's biggest TV critic, often putting himself at the center of the story. The President of the United States should not refer to us as the enemy of the people. His own daughter acknowledges that, and all I'm asking you to do, Sarah, is to acknowledge that right now and right here. I, I appreciate your passion. In reaction to being labeled fake news, many media companies are investing in fact-checking. But tech giants and online platforms are also going further, shutting down outlets believed to be spreading falsehoods and hate speech. President Trump says that amounts to censorship. They're really treading on very, very troubled territory, and they have to be careful. It's not fair to large portions of the population. And apparently many Americans agree. A recent Pew Research survey found that 72 percent believe social media platforms actively censor political views they object to. Much of the media is worried. Last week, 300 U.S. newspapers coordinated editorials about how the president's labeling of the media as the enemy of the people could harm journalism and even journalists. The New York Times wrote, News reporters and editors are human and make mistakes. Correcting them is core to our job, but insisting that truths you don't like are fake news is dangerous to the lifeblood of democracy, and calling journalists the enemy of the people is dangerous, period. The UN's human rights chief also chimed in, suggesting the president could be blamed for inciting violence. Could possibly set and train a, an atmosphere of, of where journalists are self-censoring or deciding not to venture to, into certain parts of the country where they believe it would be dangerous and threatening to their physical security. And, um, and then ultimately, if viewed in that context, it could amount to incitement. Another casualty in the battle for truth might be truth itself, as Trump and the press hardened their resolve to win over the people of America. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.